Where the river where enters the North Sea, Sunderland is a city that has found a new path after the decline of coal mining and shipbuilding in the 70s and 80s. Nissan opened the largest car factory in the UK in Sunderland, and while that might not sound touristy, this former zone of heavy industry has two beaches at Seaburn and Roker that have earned the international gold standard for cleanliness and facilities. Let's explore the best things to do in Sunderland. Number 1 Sunderland Museum and Winter Gardens You'll be a lot more knowledgeable about Sunderland after a visit to this museum that was spruced up in 2001. The neighboring Winter Gardens greenhouse was also reconstructed after being struck by a bomb in the war and demolished in the 1960s. You can see the first ever Nissan to come off the production line, marking a new chapter in the city's history. Number 2 National Glass Center Tied to the University of Sunderland and sitting right on the wear, this museum documents the glassmaking industry in the city. Completed in 1998, the building is a wonder, made from glass and steel, and with a massive transparent roof that lets you look into the galleries below. Glassmaking has a long past in Sunderland, thanks to Benedict Biscop, who in the 7th century hired French glaciers for the Monkwear Mouth Jarrow Priory, now St. Peter's Church, and set moments from the museum. Number 3 Roker and Seaburn Beaches It's a sign of Sunderland's regeneration that the city has not one, but two blue flag beaches, commended for their environmental standards and facilities. Both Roker, aka Whitburn South, and Seaburn beaches are long, wide and sandy, and bookend by rocks. Number 4 Roker Park This refined seafront park is a relic of the Victorian period, and was donated to the city by the local landowner Sir Hedworth Williamson in 1880. That generous act is honored with a sandstone and granite memorial fountain. Another charming monument from the age is the iron bandstand with a copper roof. Number 5 Harrington Country Park It can be hard to imagine, but this sprawling country park in the west of the city was once an open cast mine. There's a small hint of what came before at the preserved pit wheel in the Miner's Memorial Garden, as well as the large depression in the center of the park, now a lake for model boats. Number 6 Souter Lighthouse Five miles up the coast from Sunderland city center, the Souter Lighthouse made history in 1871 when it became the first lighthouse purposely designed to use alternating electric current. Its 800,000 candle power light could be seen for 26 miles, on a portion of the North Sea coast with dangerous rocks at the foot of magnesian limestone cliffs. Number 7 Keel Square A dynamic public space fronting the magistrate's court in Sunderland's shopping precinct, Keel Square opened in 2015 after several years and almost 12 million pounds of construction. Landscaped with sandstone, gritstone and bronze, this plaza is a celebration of Sunderland's maritime and industrial heritage. Number 8 Northeast Land, Sea and Air Museums Special attention is paid to the early years of jet aviation, and there's a serious collection of British-made planes like an Avro Vulcan, a Gloucester Meteor, a Hawker Hunter, a de Havilland Comet, and a de Havilland Vampire, as well as American and French models like a Lockheed T-33A, an F-86D Sabre, and a Dassault Mystere 4. Number 9 St. Peter's Church, Monkwearmouth this history of this fascinating church by the Ware and University of Sunderland campus goes back to 675, when it was founded by Benedict Biscop as a priory, making it one of the oldest stone churches in the country. What is very rare is just how much of that first building remains, and you can see it in the porch, west wall and fragments of stone carvings. Number 10 Northern Gallery for Contemporary Art A highly regarded art destination, the NGCA opened in 1995 and has a flexible 35MX 17M hall that can be divided into smaller rooms and spaces depending on the exhibition. In its 20 or so years, the gallery has helped introduce some now well-established artists like A.K. Dalvin, Sam Taylor Wood and Adam Chodzko, providing their first commissions and publications. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.